Hi guys! In this video I will show you how to uh, connect a MIDI controller realized with the Arduino to Ableton Live 9 on Windows. I suppose that you have already realized your MIDI controller with Arduino. If not, I suggest you to follow our video tutorial about it, okay? In my case, I have a little MIDI controller. I have only two patch buttons. One button send a MIDI note and the other button send another MIDI note, okay? Very simple, but uh, it's uh, okay for me to, uh, to show you how to connect uh, uh, Arduino to Ableton on Windows, okay? So, the first thing that we have to do is to download two software. The first software that we have to download is the, the Arles MIDI software. Alice MIDI is a bridge, uh, a bridge uh, between Arduino and Ableton. Bridge means that it takes MIDI messages sent by Arduino on the serial port where Arduino is connected, elaborate these messages and send these messages to the uh, MIDI port, to the MIDI channel where, where Ableton is listening. Okay, so go to the download section and download Alice MIDI for Windows. I have already downloaded it, so I can open it. Okay, this is very simple, but I will explain it to you later. First, now <clears throat> download the other software that we need. This software is Loop MIDI. Why we need this software? Uh, Windows does not have by default a serial port, uh, a serial, uh, sorry, a MIDI port, a MIDI channel that you can open for the for the MIDI communication between two software on the same uh, platform. Okay, uh, so you need a software uh, to uh, create a, a MIDI channel, a MIDI port, and uh, open it. Okay, so click on this link. And from there, you can download Loop MIDI. I have already downloaded it. I open it. It's very simple, okay? You have only to add a new MIDI port. For example, Loop MIDI port Ardu, okay? And then click on the plus button. The port is created and open it. It's very important that you keep uh, Loop MIDI open, the software open, uh, when you want that Arduino communicate with Ableton, because if you close the software, the port, the MIDI port, will be closed, okay? So keep open Loop MIDI during the communication. Now, open Arduino's MIDI. The first thing that you have to do is to verify in file preferences that the boot rate that you selected is the same that you have set in your Arduino code, okay? In my case, this is the right one. Okay, then there you have to select the port where the port, the serial port where Arduino is connected. In my case, COM4. If Arduino is not connected on the PC, you will, won't find Arduino in this menu, okay? Now, if I click on the two buttons of my controller, okay, as you can see, the two notes, 38 and the notes 36, are arriving to Ireland's MIDI. The on-off of these two notes, 36, is a C note of the second octave, and the 38 is a D note of the second octave. Okay? Well, now, there, you have to select the uh, MIDI port that you have create with loop MIDI. So there you have to select the loop MIDI port Ardu. Okay. Uh, well, okay, now we have to set uh, Ableton Live. Now let's see what we have to do with Ableton. I have already uh, import a track, an audio file, and uh, select a MIDI instrument because I want to show you how to map uh, uh, a button, a pad of your controller to the, for example, to the play of uh, an audio file and I also want to show you how to play MIDI notes of MIDI instruments. First of all, we have to go to Option, uh, Preferences and in the MIDI section now you will find Input a little MIDI port hardware, the port that you have created and opened. And there you have to put to yes the voice track and the voice remote. 
with the voice remote uh, you are saying to your to uh, Ableton that uh, your controller is not a standard controller with uh, a standard map uh, for the pad of the controller okay uh, with the voice track, uh, you want to say to Hableton that uh, you want to play uh, the MIDI note of a MIDI instrument with your controller. Okay, so now, if I go there, and there MIDI form is okay, all hints, all channels, okay. Then, now there I select monitor in. Okay, now if I click on the button of my... of my controller as you can see notes are playing okay okay now let's see how to map uh, the pad of your controller to other functionalities in Ableton to do this we have to go in the this section in the map section there by clicking on this button now you have to click on the function that you want to map first so i click on the play of the brano of this uh, audio file and click of one uh, on one of the button of my controller okay sorry okay there this uh, description is appeared uh, it, uh, so it, me it means that uh, everything is going okay. Okay, now if I come back to the previous page and now I click on the button that I have uh, just mapped. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I can also map the other button, for example, to the stop of this uh, audio of this uh, audio file so i come back to the map section click first on the function on the function that i want to map and then i click on the other button okay so note the one is mapped on the stop come back now with one button i start the audio file and with the other button i sorry stop it okay well, uh, it's all uh, in the MIDI in the MIDI map MIDI section. This section you can map uh, uh, all of the commands to all of the of the button of the pad of your controller. Okay, uh, remember that you have first click on the function that you want to map, and then on the button on the of your controller. Okay, okay, that's all. Bye.